let's get back into it. Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Hellblade Cinema Sacrifice. We still don't know what she's sacrificing yet. It's either sanity. Where are you going? Last time, we got thrown off a bridge because Hell said no. Come on. This time, I have no freaking clue what's going on. Uh, I kind of want to go to the water, but I see shiny. I like shiny. There it is. Your magic rings. <laughs> it's there. Good boys. Oh, I got to turn my the second I start recording. I love what that happened. Oh no, don't fall down. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't have a weapon. Freak. Our sword bat broke too. This is not going to be a fun time. And it looks like the rot is even farther up now. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Father Zinbal made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren and lonely. Man, that's making me sad. I don't want to be sad. And then again, this whole game's part where it's kind of depressing. I mean, we're looking for our beloved in basically a version of hell. I mean, Valhalla is the heaven, of course, and uh, Helheim's not really a bad place, but it's not exactly good. I mean, purgatory like. What do I know? There he was. What? She remembers the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. Under the tree? The gloom. For the first time in years, she felt them. The Northmen tell of a great mm -hmm. hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree. And one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother in law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast. And when they arrive, they are met with an army of war welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Uh huh. That guy doesn't like the end of it. That's an itch. I mean, that is true. I don't know which way to really go in this scenario. There's like so many pathways to take. Is this an option? That's not good. Alright, so that's not the way. Well, I'm assuming where we need to go is over there, but I don't think it's a good idea. Huh. So 
So I'm guessing I have to go scurry or basically just prowl the beach. So theoretically, if he just like dies right now, we're going to be healed again. I'm asking a legitimate question, okay? Because we we do have a certain amount of deaths, yes, but would it hurt to take a death just before it healed? Wait, do I have a sword? Okay, so it just keeps going. But I thought the beginning of the game was this way. Uh, this is... I know it looks like I've done a lot of running so far in this episode. But that's what I've done. But I don't know what's going on. And I hate it. All the broken longboats. Day after oh. day, watching from afar, she mimics. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever. It's a trick. It's an illusion. It's not real. <laughs> Do you really mean that? You want to believe it's real, but it's a trick. <laughs> if you need it, where are you going? Oh, where is she going? <laughs> what is she throwing? You can't even fight. It's just deception. How does he so effortlessly court the world and bliss? If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. And dance with it. Just like he does. It's pretty true though. Oh, hold on, she looks weird without her face paint. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Jingle's girlfriend. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. No one. Well, I I watched you, and you learned all of that from watching me. <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Billy. I'm here for the warrior trial. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you, make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel it. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut
There's something on the trees. I'm guessing that's where we have to go next. That tree. Can you see him? You want to believe it because he's not real. You see that? You're alone in these mountains. Is that really a... Nothing lives here. You won't survive. <laughs> you met him by the tree. She met him by the tree. I met him by the tree. Oh, gosh. Waiting for you by the tree. Tree, 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 tree. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy, and implores the king to chin them up instead of. He abuses them. I mean, being tortured. I'd rather just be executed. Thanks. Thanks for the fun times, but. sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Uh, Come on, you got this. No, get back in there and get the sword. Go to the shards. Let's go to the shards. Find it. The metal the most endless. Okay, so what's the Where is it? Find it. There it is. Focus. Focus. Okay, focus. Use your eyes. Look. Get closer. What can you see? A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. Okay. I don't recognize this. Where are we? Tyrving? Where is she? Like, Tyr sword? Where are we now? The oh, that's right. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary, inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones. Then comes the reckoning. Go in. You have to aim. Take the torch. It's too dark. Go ahead. Take it. It's it's dark. You can you have to you have to see. Alright, we can see. <gasps> Who's there? Fenrir. Fenrir's in here, isn't he? This torch does not Simeon, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? There he is. There he is. Dilling, there he is. Finally, we found him. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. 
I'll find you. I got you. We're gonna find him. Holy cow. The voices. Okay. I can't run in here. So that's a challenge. So we're gonna stay near the walls and just go by area by area. I'll find him. That gives me more light. Fire good. Hey, at least these games are realistic. They're You know how in most games when you go into it, it's twice for the first- Oh, freak. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herber, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. Uh -huh. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword. Tearling. Seems legit. She has to keep going. It's like Siberia. She has to keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. Wait. I didn't do it. What? Oh, freak. It's gonna be one of these puzzles. It's okay, we got this. I can hear him. Herva disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. Okay, I was wrong, apparently. The whole... This whole gimmick is weird, and I don't like it. Don't break the rules. If you doubt yourself, you'll never find it. She doesn't break the rules. Yes, you do. She doesn't. Yes, you do. 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 But I think it's this way. I don't Maybe? Well it feels the game is gonna put it back there anyway. Am I right? <gasps> the voice doesn't sound right. What's happening? Quiet. He wants me to find him. I'm the last one out. We're gonna find him. Don't worry, Senua. I just don't. How do you get in there? How did she get in there? How do I get? Who is it? That red sounds like it's a terrible idea. We're gonna go for it. Completed the puzzle. 
Alright, room me right, it's Fenrir. Alright, please prove me right? I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through no, you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. I'm out of it. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. She thinks so. No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. Oh, freak. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Then what? No. I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Holy freak. Okay. It's done. You did it, but there's more. Alright, so... There was something. Next time on Hellboy Cinema Sacrifice, uh, we're gonna do more puzzles. We're not gonna have fun doing them. I'll see you then.